my name is Helen Gillingham and I'm the subject lead for Modern Foreign Languages here at Gosford Hill School. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about French A-Level. We're really passionate about our languages here at Gosford and if you have enjoyed your GCSE French and have achieved a grade six or above, then perhaps French A-Level is for you. We follow the AQA syllabus and so alongside a published course, so a textbook, we also use the um, online platform Caboodle, which is a brilliant resource. It gives you lots of access to listening materials, um, extra videos, uh, grammar exercises, etc. And we use that both in class, but also um, you can use it for your independent um, study at home, okay? Um, you will be taught by two teachers who both have um, a lot of experience at teaching at A-level. We also um, believe that language teaching isn't at its best unless we use authentic resources. So we use a lot of um, clips from uh, French radio, television programmes, newspaper cuttings, etc. And um, to help us study the culture more um, in depth more, we do a study of a French novel called No et Moi and a French film, um, La Haine. Okay? Um, the course is mainly based around um, different topics which are chosen because for their inherent interest and links to the um, francophone culture. Um, and they cover such things as um, social aspects, so um, family, media, um, the plight of the marginalised in francophone countries, also um, artistic and um, uh, political culture, for example, um, cultural heritage, music, um, teenagers and their political com commitment. And it's through these topics that uh, we help you to develop your linguistic ability and your grammatical skills. So it's the subjects, the topics that take the lead. Okay. Um, how is it assessed? Uh, we have three examinations at the end of year 13. Um, these are listening, reading and translation. Then a written exam where you write two essays in French, um, one on the film and one on the novel that we've studied, and a speaking exam where before the exam you will have had some time um, preparing uh, an individual research project, so on a topic of your choice, and in the exam you do a two minute presentation and then um, have some discussion with your teacher which is recorded. Okay. Um, there is also an option to do the AS level French alongside um, the A level and that would be examined at the end of year 12. It is exactly half of the A level um, and you would take that as an extra to three other full A levels. Uh, beyond A level, what does um, taking French do for you? Well, um, because it's an academic but also a practical subject and also um, very much linked to communication. It gives you very flexible and adaptable skills, um, very useful in settings such as um, publishing, business, marketing, hospitality. Um, many people who study French A-level go on to uh, study it at university, um, either as a subject on its own or combined with another subject, for example, economics and French, um, international relations and French, um, and it's certainly, you know, having done uh, an A-level in language is definitely an asset in the world of work. So, French A-level is not only fun, interesting, but it could also play an important role um, in shaping your future.